Ready? Um, yeah, I'm ready. <clears throat> Let me just see if that's happening. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's all right. Stuff happens. No, we're good, it's good, everything's fine. Right? <laughs> I feel fine about that. I'm so that's only jeans. like- Jeans. Just wrap it up. Yeah, because you know why I have another guest after you or I would. You know what, yeah. here we go. Their jeans are supposed to be a little bit. How often do you wash your jeans? I try to wash them all the time because I want them to be tight. I love when I put my jeans on. You know how the girls always do like the jump yeah. into the jeans? Is that how you do it? It makes me feel very sexy. I don't see, because when I do that, I don't find it sexy. I, I find I, I hope no one's watching. I love it. I wish someone was watching. Sorry, so let's do it. So show us. Well, you do like, um, you do like, uh, you put your jeans on. Every guy in here knows what I'm talking about. Does this, uh, you know, like. Do you have to like do that while you're you at just, it? Like, and then the jeans, like, and then the butt gets sort of cradled in that. It's so good. Whatever goes on in your jeans, I want to get a pair of the Morgan, let's make sure we get those jeans, because mine just they're go on. Mom, they they're off. like mom jeans. Those are the ones that you really have to jump into. What? You know? Mom jeans? Yes. 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 You have it all backwards. I think I do, and now suddenly I'm feeling really <laughs> inadequate. So mm -hmm. thank you for that. That's good. That's what I'm here so for. <laughs> we just want you to think about how rich. This is yeah. cinematically. I read you said that you you fell into acting. You did girls because you were friends with Lena from Saint Anne's. Yeah. Saint Anne's, by the way, in Brooklyn is where the artsy cool kids go. Were you part of like the artsy cool girl? Yeah. Group? Yeah. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I, I can't. Yes, I was. I um, I smoked a ton of cigarettes and cut class so that I could smoke cigarettes. And yeah. you know, that was. And your I, I knew no one's name. That was like also like. Do you have a problem with memory or? No, just like. Who are you again? That's what cool people like the, do. Like this sort of like, oh, you're in my class. I don't know. Did you actually know their names, but you're pretending like you didn't? I actually didn't know their names. <laughs> I was authentic. I was a pretty authentic. If it wasn't in the arts, what do you think you'd want to be doing? I would probably be a stay-at-home mom. Well, okay, but let's let's talk about this for real now. The fantasy is great, but the truth is, kids are, are needy and yeah. I mean, and the best. By the way, I don't mean to again sound like I'm complaining, but. It's hard, staying home yeah. with them is hard all the time. Once they go to school from nine to three, yeah. you just, you do mornings yeah. and then you pick them up. Right. And you do dinner and you put them to bed and then you're off again. Boop. You know, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't be like a stay at home mom with like kids running around like a baby in here like, ah, kids, like I just wouldn't. <laughs> I just wouldn't, that's not me. I'm gonna be a stay at home mom once they're in school. Right. You had a babysitter? Yeah, of course I'm a babysitter. What do you think, I have kids? Girls is wrapping up. There is a legion of people who I'm sure are gonna not know what the heck to do with themselves because they have cleaved so dearly to the show. Mm -hmm. What is the lasting gift that you think the show gives to its viewers? What I hope for it is that it will be part of a, a sort of legacy of female TV shows that that have paved the way for new TV shows. Like, like Golden Girls. Or, or, yes, or, you know, Mary Tyler Moore show. They actually like those shows. Yes. I mean, honestly, you're so boring. In the arc of Jessa, how did she develop in a way that you are proud of, that you want people to take with them? Well, I feel like Jessa, Jessa started out with a real strong, identity, like you could really tell, you know who she is. The minute you met her, you're like, oh, this girl's the free spirit. You know, this girl's, you know, wild, will do anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. But I think what's happened to her throughout the show is that she sort of um, shed some of that costume mm -hmm. a little. And I think that that, there's a truth in that about growing up and getting older is that we, we shed some of these things that we thought were, that we held so strongly to, that we thought were us. Regardless of everything that happened, you are still my dear friend. I don't think we ever acted like friends. And I love what you said because it's okay to be multifaceted. Yes. You know, and, mm -hmm. and try And also change your mind. It's yeah. okay to change your mind about. Totally. Yeah. You In are, fact, what uh, you think and feel. Change my mind about this interview right now. No, yeah. I don't want to do it anymore. It's over. Yeah, me Thanks. too. I'm. Yeah, no, it's I'm over. Not Stop, Stop anything, talking. And you can't over. use a word of what I said. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. Nice to meet you. See you in the neighborhood. Yes. <laughs>